In the year 1999, many people thought the world was going to come to an end. The year 2000 was rolling on, and with that, people anticipated the Y2K problem. There hadn't been a turn of the century since computers were invented. So, people were worried that when the year rolled over from 1999 to 2000, it would be the same as going back to 1900. Now, luckily, computers worked this out, and there were no problems. But what if our computing system actually did collapse? What would happen to things like nuclear power stations, airplanes, transportation methods? Communication systems, electricity, the economy, dams. Well, I'm Charlie and today we're going to find out what would happen if all computers turned off at the same time. But before your computer turns off, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too. So an evil genius located in a space bunker suddenly presses the button. That is the button that turns off all computers on Earth. What will ensue in the next few hours, he thinks? The answer? Absolute catastrophe. One of the first and most scary things that will happen if all computers went down is nuclear meltdowns. Every nuclear facility on Earth is run of a digital system. This means there will be many uncontrollable meltdowns. A nuclear meltdown is basically where a nuclear reactor has a severe incident. This usually relates to overheating. Basically, the nuclear energy can overheat if the cooling systems don't work. All nuclear cooling systems operate off a digital system. So this means that if these computers failed, then every nuclear plant would overheat. All the water pumps would fail, and eventually it would get so hot it would explode. There's around 450 nuclear power plants in 50 countries around the world. So get ready for large parts of those areas to be totally uninhabitable. Past nuclear meltdowns such as Chernobyl wiped out gigantic areas around the plant. And despite Chernobyl happening decades ago, it's still too toxic to go anywhere near to this day. Also, nuclear energy provides around 10% of the world's electricity, so that'll be gone. But we'll get to that later. For now, let's look up to the skies. Well, actually, you wouldn't need to look up at the skies, as all airplanes and helicopters in the air would fall down. That's right, if computers failed, airplanes would fall out of the sky. Back in 1999, before Y2K, many people did not book any flights. That's because they were scared that when the year rolled over to 2000, all planes would fall out of the sky. Now, of course, the Y2K problem did not happen, but what if it actually did? If all computers turned off, then the planes would fall out of the sky. You may think, wouldn't the pilot just take over? But no, pilots actually don't do as much flying as you may think. A lot of planes flight is from aircraft's autopilot, which is done from computers. Nicholas Carr says, we're becoming way too reliant on computers and should switch back to the old days before them. That's for things like planes and transportation, as he fears this could happen one day. Also, the pilots would not be able to communicate with air traffic control. This means they would not know where to go, where to fly, and would almost definitely crash before they fell out of the sky. Pilots have a 0% chance of actually successfully landing a plane without air traffic control. And they could not emergency crash land as their airplane computer systems would be down. Back on the ground, transportation isn't looking any better there. Trains, except the very old ones before computers, would not work. Trains are all run off a digital grid and would cease to work without computers. Even the system that opens train doors runs from computers, so we couldn't even get on them. Not only that, any trains which were going at high speeds may derail. That's because they could be suddenly turned off. Most trains would automatically turn off if all computers failed. That's because all of their emergency stopping gear would cease to exist. Things like the dead man's lever, which is supposed to stop trains if the driver falls asleep, would not work either. This means trains going at the time would derail, probably taking out a lot of passengers and the drivers. Also, many new cars would also cease to exist. They would become unworkable as many new cars, for example Teslas, need a computer to run. But it isn't just Teslas, in fact, all cars manufactured today contain at least one computer. This computer is in charge of monitoring the engine, which is a pretty key part of a car. But on many modern cars, computers also control the air, fuel, O2, knock, position sensors, fuel injections, electronic ignition, and much, much more. So for some cars, they may even screech to a halt if computers were all turned off. This would of course create gigantic blockages on the road and many car crashes. But how about the number one thing we do all day every day, communication. Luckily, unless you passed away in a plane crash, your mouth would still work. So we could still shout and talk to each other, and chances are lots of people will be doing a lot of that, shouting and screaming. 
but any modern communication would totally cease to exist. We would have no texts or phone calls. There would also be no email or any social media like Facebook, Snapchat, or Instagram. You may think phones would still work, but no, they're all reliant on satellites and telecom towers, which are reliant on computers. So if you wanted to communicate with someone across town, you'd probably have to go back to smoke signals. Even writing a letter wouldn't work, as the postal service wouldn't exist without computers. Computers sort all of our mail today, and drivers need a GPS to locate where to send this mail. So we'd literally only be able to talk and send smoke signals. Not being able to communicate would be very bad. Governments would frantically try and calm down their citizens. They'd deliver a message saying don't worry about computers not working, let's pull together. But they wouldn't be able to as there'd be no way to communicate. They couldn't even do it via TV. All television and radio networks would be down. That's because around 10 years ago, they pretty much all switched to digital transmissions. This means that it doesn't matter whether you have an antenna or any way to receive their signal, they can't get it to you. And also, we would not have any electricity. As I said before, 10% of it would be wiped out as nuclear power plants would all melt down. But what about the general electricity grid? Well, that would go down. The electricity grid works from computers. Computers control who gets electricity in what houses, and it also balances the input and output of electricity. So likely the entire grid would kind of blow a fuse and no one would have any electricity or power. Oh, and if you guys live anywhere near a dam, then sorry, but you'll likely be underwater. You may not know this, but dams which are used to encase water are all run off computers. Hydroelectric power plants are of course run from computers and microcomputer applications. And if this failed, then the flow of water would be uncontrollable. The dams may even burst, causing gigantic amounts of flooding. And all hydropower that we use to get electricity would cease to exist. According to a 2016 study, the three things which cause the most dam failures are design error, earthquakes, and computers. So if computers all turned off, then say goodbye to our above ground existence and get ready to live like a fish. And if any of you guys are money obsessed, I'm sure you're thinking, in all this chaos, how's the economy looking? Well, the answer, like everything else, is very bad. The economy would totally crumble as pretty much all modern industry is based off computers. Did you know that 99% of businesses in the USA use computers? And if they didn't have them, then they would cease to exist and would grind to a halt. In fact, all of our stock markets today would be based off computers. So it wouldn't just be the Great Depression, it would be more like the fall of the Roman Empire. Because there would be no businesses or government, there would be no economy. All money not backed by a natural resource would become worthless. That includes all fiat currencies, for example the US dollar, the euro, and the Great British Pound. So whether you had one dollar in the bank or a billion dollars, we'd pretty much all have the same amount of money. No amount of money will get us out of this situation if all computers turned off. But now let's look at the aftermath. Humans are good at one thing, and that's evolving. So how would we evolve into this new, no computer world? Well, first off, a lot of us would pass away. There would be a lot of starvation as we couldn't grow the food we needed. Tractors and farming machinery all operate off computers nowadays. So we'd likely all have to move out of the city and into the country and grow food by hand. However, there would be massive wars and riots as people would fight over land ownership. But eventually we go back to the days before computers. We'd do everything by hand like writing, calculating and farming. We'd also cultivate using shovels and basic farming machinery. Instead of cars, planes and trains, we'd have bikes and horses. And instead of supercomputers, we'd analyze things using paper and calculations. This is making me kind of nostalgic. Maybe a world without computers wouldn't be so bad. Uh, nah, let's be real. It would be totally dystopian. But it's also not really worth worrying about. Computers or the internet collapsing is very, very unlikely. You see, computers are not dependent upon a single machine or cable. They're very robust and are made up of a network of different computer networks. It literally spans the globe across continents, under oceans, and in space with satellites. But you never know, one day an evil alien race could come and take over. And if they decided to switch off all of our computers, we would not be having a happy day. But now it's time to make your opinion heard. Do you think the world was better off before computers or with computers? Vote in the poll in the top right corner and let me know. If you want some more amazing videos, then check out my second channel. There'll be a link to that on screen in a moment. 
But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, subscribe to Top 10s.